Pari Saberi is a self-described cultural activist who has paid her dues. Born in the sleepy town of Kerman in 1932, Saberi left Iran for Europe after the Islamic Revolution to pursue a career in the theater. When she eventually returned home, it was to a lukewarm welcome from her Iranian peers. It's taken 20 years, but the strong-willed director has finally earned her place with the big boys on the Iranian stage. Paris Soberi is a woman counting her blessings. We were with her for closing night of her latest extravaganza, The Flying Shams. Look, uh, the piece is about conversations between Rumi and his mentor Shams. I think Rumi was like a waiting butterfly inside its cocoon. Shams allowed him to split open the cocoon and come out. There are flashbacks in the story starting from the day Shams is killed, and Molana begins to revisit his blurry memories of his friend Shams. We tried to present the music in Rumi's language. It hasn't been an easy road. Saberi spent much of the 1950s in France studying theater and cinema. The experience, she says, brought new opportunities, but it also took her outside Iran's art establishment. Once men finally accepted me, I was able to work with them. My relationships with many of Iran's top artists really opened up doors for me. In 2004, Saberi was awarded the Legion of Honor by former French President Jacques Chirac, an honor she shares alongside filmmaker Abbas Kiristami. I'm a mix between uh, Western and Eastern culture. The East awakened feelings in me that are inside all of us, and the West taught me technique and awareness. I have taken inspirations from Iranian classics to make a completely modern theater. Mansure Ali Yari has been Saberi's assistant for nearly 12 years. By her own admission, their relationship has become like one of mother and daughter. Her intense affection for Pari is clear. I was in her home once and I just felt as if God was in the room with us. She gives energy to every single cast member. Both women benefited from a home environment which encouraged their careers. My husband always encouraged me to find my way. He believed people should nurture their inner self and let it come out. I think cinema has its own problems. I don't think the deep friendships that are made in the theatre can be found in the film industry. 
I'm fascinated by Iranian culture. I'm crazy about the characteristics of Iranian people. The great thinkers of our intellectual tradition, like Rumi, Hafez, and Ferdowsi, have become parts of our tradition. They somehow make us eternal. I'm not saying we should only look to the past, but these are important pillars which can inspire us to express the thinking of the day. As Saberi's work becomes rooted over the years more and more in traditional Iranian literature, does she risk alienating the younger generation who want to draw inspiration from more contemporary places? I'd love it if our youth went after the important issues, whether from the past or the present, but they shouldn't dismiss the past. My work is a marriage between movement, music and poetry. But I'm moving towards video art because I think it completely opens up possibilities. The era of designing elaborate productions is over. Yes, Paris Sauberi has paid her dues, but that doesn't mean she intends to rest on her laurels. This is Mana Rabi reporting for Iran. <laughs>